Do you know how to let your dreams flow? Have you ever even thought about flow when it comes to your dreams? Today on the Healing is Possible experience, I am going to be talking with the phenomenal Leah Valencia Key about dreams and about flow. I'm your host, Rebecca Silence, and this show is meant to take you on a journey of hope and healing and transformation in the direction of your dreams. I think this word can be so fluffy for so many people and a word that doesn't get taken seriously. I want to start by just suggesting that our dreams are not fantasies, that we are meant to actualize and experience the life of our dreams, meaning life the way we always imagined it could be. So one dream maker worth listening to, worth stopping everything else you're doing and turning up the volume and listening to is Leah Valencia Key, creator of Valencia Key Jewelry. Now she is doing even more than she'll, that she'll tell us about. But I, I think, is it fair to say, Leah, you're doing even more now than you ever imagined you could? Yes, I mean for the world, for humanity, for humanity. A this dream jewelry are... company is so much more. Okay, let, let her in. Let's go. I love dreams. I, you know, that's my word. I have, so, I have words that I just overuse and cling to, and a, it's an honor to be called a dream maker. <laughs> because you really can. I love the word dreams, and the reason why I don't use the word goals. Um, or a goal is there's words for however you want to manifest in your mind because your mind is the one that's going to help you to actually flow into what's possible for you. I love dreams because dreams are these things so far out, like, and they're, they're so surreal to me when you think about it. And then it's like, how do I get into a flow enough to flow my way to something so unfathomable, so um, almost unrealistic if you told someone. And so I love flow because flow is like, it moves you to something. And I think actions make dreams come true. When you're flowing into something, that means you are making actions that move you closer to the surreal concept that was blessed to be whispered in your heart, your soul, or your mind. And I just do it every time. Like I put, I, I think about what I want to give to the world. My, my way of being now is like, what do I want to give to the world? And that becomes my dream. And then when I find out, oh, this is unique and it sounds very interesting, but I really want to gift this to the world. And then now I have to click into what is that flow of action that's going to get me to gift this to the world. And that moves me into these millimeter movements of steps that I, I coined the phrase millimeter movements because they're the smallest movement, smallest measurement on a metric ruler, but the smallest movement will allow you to start flowing. Yeah. And I love that you're saying it that way, because I think people, you know, have just as averse a reaction to the word action sometimes as they do the word dream. And yeah. one of the things that I've learned from one of my friends and mentors, Eric Plattenberg, is that action is only about 10% mm. of the manifestation. And I have definitely been guilty of, if I feel like things aren't flowing, work harder, more action, harder, more action, harder, more action, push. And in my experience, that suffocates the flow actually, Ooh. right? So it has to be the right actions mm. and it has to be the actions that almost like, at least for me, feel effortless. Like there's a ton of effort, but if it feels effortless, it ain't no thing. Like yeah. I'll do the effortless effort until the cows come home. So yeah. like for me, I know I'm beginning to stifle a dream if it doesn't feel effortless and it's time yeah. to like press pause and relax. Yeah. And yeah. I love that you're talking about dreams being for the world, because I feel, I feel the same way. And we were talking, I was crying before we started recording yeah. just about the idea that, you know, it, it's almost like the the dream 
is bigger than us. Your dream yes. with your jewelry company yes. that's now yes. helping communities get out of poverty and have a whole yes. new experience in Africa. I mean, Leah, it's it's breathtakingly beautiful what you're doing in the world. And I'll let you talk more about that in a minute. But you know, for me, it's about teaching the practice of emotional healing and helping families and marriages and people and even teams and companies heal through trauma that yes. has them working so hard and feeling so miserable for no reason. Yeah. But it, it almost, it feels bigger than me. And part of what helps me flow is to know hard work isn't actually going to get me there. Effortless Mm. flow will. And then I work really hard, but it doesn't have to feel hard. And I think I think that's just important for people to consider and take in your, your dreams don't have to be hard. And what if they don't have to be that far away? And what if, here's the other thing. What if, if, if you're thinking, well, I don't have some world healing life changing for the world dream. So what, you know, I don't even listen to this. Hold on a second, because even just your dream of healing yourself makes the world a better place or yeah. your dream of living authentically to you that models so much beauty and magnificence for so many, yeah. right? So don't downplay, right? Yeah. Whatever your dream is, it's serious and it changes the world. And I don't think it has to be that far away. Yeah. And I think if you can conceptualize it, a lot of people say this, but I really believe it. You can manifest it. You can actualize it. I love even like you were saying, when you say, what am I giving to the world? I think everything you do of positiveness is for the world. And, and it's not small. So if your dream is to just care for your family in the most beautiful way possible, if it's it, if it's to raise your children in this wonderful way, if you want to change the trajectory of your generation and say, well, I lived and was raised this way. So my dream is to raise my children in a different way and, and steer them in this direction. Just like you said, that is life changing to the world. Cause now you are creating another human beings of of value and of love and intention and so everything of positiveness even like you said if it's directed about you literally is a world blessing and I love I I would love staying there for a minute thank you for bringing that up because yeah we'll cancel ourselves out of because we 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 create these grandiose statements but anything we do of effort is grand. <laughs> like any try you make, any step into your flow state is a grand thing of doing. So I just love honoring that on every spectrum of the scale. So thank, thank you for acknowledging that. That's really, really yeah. powerful. Well, and you're inspiring a couple more ideas here because I think, you know, you know when I think it becomes effortless is mm-hmm. when you're having fun and when mm-hmm. you're in joy. And your whole brand is about joy. So, oh. you know, I think I think we need to just talk about that. Like, when's the last time you actually asked yourself the question, how much fun am I having? Oh, right. Right, like, people need to ask that every moment. Because the, the dream building, all that is is creating your dream life, which makes the world a better place. Mm-hmm. But- I think for me, it gets effortless. The effort gets effortless when I'm having fun and when I'm in joy and I wear Leah's earrings every single day because they literally say, this is perfect for Rebecca Silence. The healing is possible coach, right? They say it's possible. Like they tell me every single day. So if even if like the word positivity, you're like, oh God, possibility. It's right here all the time. And the more you access it and the more you demand that Mm -hmm. you stay connected to possibility. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Are you making the world better? You're making the world better and you're starting to flow into what you're meant to do in this world. And, and honestly, if you look at a river flow is not easy, you know, Flow is rough. Flow can be rough. Look at look at a water stream. Have you ever just 
literally zoned out and watched water flow. It's hitting rocks. It's moving this way. It's passing leaves and carrying things. And it flow ain't easy, but it's movement. And so I like when I think when I think of flow, I think of movement. I think, and and it could be, it could be rough movement. It could be hard. It could be rocky waters. It could be turbulent times. It could, it could be still waters, but as long as it's movement, that's when you're moving toward your purpose, your destiny, whatever word you want to call it, your dream, your life intention, all of those words, whatever one holds true to your heart is where joy lies. And I like understanding that because it's like, before you leave this earth, my mother passed at a super early age and I'm going to self-diagnose and I could be wrong. Forgive me, mom. You're not here to speak up for yourself, but I'm going to say she had very few in her adulthood joy moments Mm. because um, she was responding to life or or paralyzed by the bounds of what life had systemically put around her. And there was no ability to flow into her purpose and her destiny. Now she was able to speak life into my life, which was power. Um, And that, that was, if we look at that, her way of flowing, you know, maybe she wasn't able to live out these things, but even if you speak life, into others' life. That's a way of flowing into others' lives. Um, But I just like visually closing my eyes and thinking of flow as this very ever-changing thing, but as long as it's movement, you know? Well, in the opposite, I think of flow, let's just call it resistance. And back to your river metaphor, like Mm -hmm. even if there's choppy waters or Mm -hmm. weather or the water smashing up against a rock Mm -hmm. there's no resistance so how do we actually even know it's hard or tough the water's just rolling right yeah it hits it and it moves exactly it's just it's not demanding anything needing to be different and it's not right it's not fighting it so like Mm -hmm. for me joy makes flow happen you're Mm -hmm. talking about breathing life more possibility into Mm -hmm. ourselves and other people and surrounding ourselves with people that breathe life into us and possibility Mm -hmm. into us brings flow but this this river metaphor i just think is really profound right because what if the water isn't experiencing hard the water is just flowing Mm -hmm. in the face of anything Mm -hmm. And we have the capacity to do that too. And at Mm -hmm. least for me, if if you're in the pursuit of flow, maybe that in and of itself is your dream, a life of more flow and joy. Oh my gosh, go make that your new baseline. Love it. And let people watch, right? But whatever your dream is, perception is so interesting because Mm -hmm. there will be metaphorical weather and rocks and obstacles and blind sides and unforeseen circumstances or opportunities to see what you didn't even know you were going to have to deal with on the pursuit of the dream. But if you can just remember to keep moving yeah, and to stay in joy and yeah. to stay, my big word is in commitment, meaning yeah. whatever it takes, as long as it takes, like I'm, I'm here. It's a, it's a full-time job being in the pursuit of your dream life. This is a good thing. Yeah. Oh, love that. It's so good. I, I, you know, that's my thing. I, I say it more morbid, you know, from a light perspective, heart, I, my way of saying it is the same as what you're saying, but I say either it's going to happen or I'm literally going to die trying like it. I, I don't, Amen. I don't have a choice. I, I'm it, it's, it's just, the dis- it's what I've rooted myself to being but I really love that concept of this lack of resistance when you're flowing you're gonna have the turbulence you're gonna hit up rocks and stuff but that is so beautiful like you said because when you say you you do it in ease someone's gonna say but it's not easy 
It's not easy. I get it. Life is not easy. My life's not easy. But when you come up against something, just like you said, the water just says, okay, I go around it. <laughs> like, okay, I, I lift it up. Like, it, that becomes your flow mindset. Like, oh, this is an obstacle. Okay, I, I, was, I just uh, was working in a homeless shelter today and I've decided to do 12 courses um, with just hearts in need of, of this. And we were talking about this and my closing was the same thing that we're talking about. You are going to choose to reach yourself in. When met with an obstacle, when you decide to flow, when you decide to move with this way of where you want to be in life, whether you're moving to joy, whether you're moving to whatever your dream is, the decision as you start is only options I have is like water. <laughs> Either I'm going to go around it, over yes. it, under it, through it, but I'm going. <laughs> and that's true flow. Love that analogy. And it's effortless. And the thing is, life might not feel easy, but it doesn't have to be hard. Yes. Right. I always say it's not easy, but it is the simple. Yeah. Right? And it's the resistance that makes it hard. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I had cancer, I literally said, I'm going to live like I'm going to live or die trying. Like I'm burning the option, yeah. right? That this isn't going to happen or work out. And I love what you're saying about flow mindset. I just want to go back to that because that mm -hmm. is the term I haven't heard before mm -hmm. that I hope that that people watching you'll yeah. remember yeah. that it is about just being like water. Yes. And then the other thing Leah you inspired one more idea. You mm -hmm. know, don't think that you need to see it first yeah. to create it. Right? Mm -hmm. You brought up your mom. Yeah. You're you're a perfect example of creating an entirely different paradigm for your life yeah. than the one you grew up in. Yeah. Right. And so I just want us to know that if you're here, you're the trailblazer. Mm -hmm. So don't think someone else is supposed to pave the path for you. And then, then you get permission. Mm -hmm. No, you very likely, if you're here with us, you're the trailblazer. Yeah. And I just don't want people to be afraid of the generational healing that would be required for you to pursue the dream that you have, even if the people you love and care about didn't pursue theirs. Go for yours. Yes, go for yours. And I was thinking when you were saying that um, in flow mindset, think about, we're, we're just gonna stick with this water flow vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna stay there, cause it's good, it's good to me, I see it. When you, when, when you move and you move like water, water picks up things along the way, right? It's like, how did that rock get from here to here? <laughs> oh, water moved it, right? <laughs> It, it, it's magical because that's what flow mindset is. You're picking up things along the way to help you move where you need to go. And that comes from all different experiences. So like, how do I do the dreams that I want to do or I really get close to seeing what I envision in my mind? I look externally, even if it's not in front of me and it's not in my direct world, I find inspiration from the world, from other humans. And I just pick up nuggets from the greatness that they have. And I move with those nuggets to help me keep flowing. So it's just wonderful. Like if you're listening to this show, this is a, a piece that you're putting in your, in your heart and in your mind to allow you to flow to your next destiny. And I'm honored to be a part of that. It's, it's wonderful. Well, and I love what you're saying. I'm hearing you basically telling people, use your environment, use your environment to your advantage in the pursuit of your dreams. Yes. And if right. it's not it's in like your environment, go find an environment. <laughs> if it's not in that environment, I am an avid traveler and a life um, chaser of exposure. 
Yeah. So I am chasing exposure. Like I am chasing the opportunity to be around something different because every time I'm around something different, even this beautiful conversation that we're having has just literally unlocked so much in me just by this conversation. So chase, chase those different exposures because it's going to help you and where you actually want to be. It's Yeah. Well, and even like finding yourself in an environment that you don't want to be in, Mm -hmm. that's the inspiration to do something about that, to create the environment that would honor and serve and respect who you are now. And I think that's another big piece of flow. And I do think flow is the key ingredient to creating your dreams, but, but you've got to honor and respect and love yourself enough and honor and respect and love your dream enough to be whoever it takes. It's more than just like, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? Who are you going to be? Yo. Right? Who are you going to be? That's number one start. That is literally, you're, if you're like, I don't know, where do I start? Exactly what you're saying. Like, who am I? Who am I going to be? What am I going to put out in the world? Not anything physical right here. Ah, uh, it's so magical when you decide no, and understand important. what you're putting in. And it's out. not, it's not what you were told. No. You're no. Right. I, I, that's, th- that's like a whole other episode, but I just want us to realize how we decide back to your word decision mm-hmm. to, to be with ourselves and to be with our dream and to be with the world in the pursuit of our dreams. Mm-hmm. That's the game that can get more and more and more effortless that will take you where you want to go. So I want with our last few minutes, I want you to tell people about the dream that you're building now Mm. Ah, and how to get in touch with you, please. Yes. Thank you for this opportunity. I love sharing dreams because one, I hope it inspires someone else to dream. And when you hear someone else walking and running and flowing toward their dream, you start to say like, I can walk and walk, run and flow to my dream. So My dream has been um, to, my father was directly from Angola. And so as I was creating my company, I always knew about the poverty and the, the, just the lack that is in Africa and that extremeness that's happening just from what my father would, would share with me. He's no longer with me. He's passed And it's just been in my heart, like, how do I help? How do I bring commerce? How do I just even in a small way bring that too? So I traveled to Africa and I found this beautiful craft and this beautiful talent that is of treasure in Africa. And it's this beadwork. And I I decided like, what if I custom designed these, these hand beautiful bags that have an intention of possibility and have an intention of light. And every time you hold it, it's a physical example of what you can create in the darkest of dark experiences. Like, so we're talking about homes and hearts that are living on dirt roads who may not even have bathrooms in their homes that it's not our poverty, but they can create these beautiful beadwork And then if we can bring that here and create commerce so that we can continuously flow income into their lives, that means babies can eat, children that may have not had an opportunity to go to school can actually go to school, their homes can be developed, they can actually get plumbing in their homes just by bringing this commerce to Africa. So I created this be the bag system that you buy a handbag and you actually help um, bring commerce to people in Africa that are abundant in greatness and gifts, but just need opportunity and possibility. And that's what we're giving. It's so beautiful. And I just want people to, to hear that you pursuing your dream of your jewelry business brought you to a place where you literally have the capacity and capability and desire to go bring all that 
joy from your dream to the world and to help other people have yeah. their dreams come true. I just can't thank you enough for being in my life. Can't thank you enough for today's episode as always. Oh my gosh, so grateful for Leah Valencia Key. Can't thank all of you watching thank enough you for joining us on this journey today. Leah, how do people get in touch with you? Yes, please go to my website, valenciakey.com. You can just put your email in. The bags are all in production. They're coming. They're actually here. We just got to do some final, you know, touches and finish them up. And uh, so if you put your name in the email list, I will message you as soon as they are ready to launch. But above all, just connect with my heart on Instagram, Leah Valencia Key or Valencia Key Design. That's where you get to see um, my pursuit of joy, my pursuit of flow, and hopefully it inspires some light and possibility in your life. Thank you for being here and follow me for more on Instagram as well at Rebecca silence. Rebecca has an H subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit Rebecca silence.com. Healing is possible yes, for, it is. Me, for you, for us and the world needs you healed so you can make your difference. We love you. See love you soon. You.